Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Good morning from Lahore Assalamu alaikum I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Koker Professor of Physics Medicine and Toxicology As I am discussing asphyxia and this is the seventh lecture of this series and the learning ob objective of this lecture will be that I will be discussing autoerotic asphyxia or sexual asphyxia this is a special asphyxia I will be discussing then what is garrotic now, accidental respiratory obstruction or autoerotic asphyxia. It is also called as the sexual asphyxia. It is peculiar type of asphyxia where the victims are usually young males with some form of abnormal sexual behavior like mesochism or transvestism. Sexual player, they want to achieve the sexual player and as it can be enhanced by partial reduction of blood supply to the brain causing anoxia that they induce anoxia and just to enhance the sexual player and this is usually achieved by compressing the blood vessels of the neck with a padding under the nose since there is a fine line between the compression which is necessary to produce the sexual player and that which produces unconsciousness. So the victim may place himself in a position of accidental blackout and unexpected death because of asphyxia. The presence of padding under the nose, nakedness or semi-nakedness of the victim, feminine attire, exposed genitalia and pornographic literature are hallmarks of these deaths because these are seen on the crime scene. They will be found on the crime scene. So at the scene of crime, a detailed search should be made to find out the evidence that this was a repetitive practice. The victim may be having a, and usually surely has a repetitive practices previously and toxicological analysis may reveal the presence of some recreational drug as alcohol, cocaine, narcotics and sometimes inhalants. And it is necessary to recognize the accidental nature of these deaths to avoid homicidal investigation. So detailed meticulous investigation is required. So this is a picture of some individual showing the padding on the neck causing the uh, semi-nakedness and this was found at the scene of crime. Now the garrotic. It's a variant of strangulation and robbers usually does this to suddenly overpower the victim and two common methods are usually used. One is the Indian method and the other is the Spanish method. In Indian method, neck is grasped by throwing ligature from behind and quickly fastened. The ligature is thrown from behind and quickly fastened on the neck. And like this rope with the ends, there are small wooden pieces. This is suddenly thrown from behind and then tied together. On tightening and twisting they, with a lever are two sticks which are tied to the ends. They are tightened and twisted by these wooden sticks. So the main objective is to overpower the victim with the onset of unconsciousness. Asphyxiation, the person is unaware, the victim is unaware and causes rapid loss of consciousness and death. So this is the Spanish method. Spanish method in Spain, it is the method of judicial execution, judicial execution of death when it is awarded to someone and this is a Spanish 
device which is known as the Spanish windlass. Formerly it is used and twisting is done so quickly that compresses the, compresses the neck of the person and which makes him suddenly powerless and unconscious. Thank you very much. This is all about this lecture. Take care, Allah Hafiz. Please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar, Lectures on Forensic Medicine.